we were out there for two months with a job of building four new huts uh, out in the field location along with a range of tent platforms to set up for a large scientific campaign around the Demon Glacier in season 23-24 next summer. program this year had a C-17 Air Force airdrop which dropped off about 10 tonnes of cargo for us and 13 different pellets right near our camp and then we spent a week recovering all that equipment. Once we got all the equipment to our site um, we were putting together tent platforms um, and then we were building some pre-made fibreglass huts so they're, um, they're manufactured here in Tasmania uh, in little slices and then we put them together as a, a melon hut. We had a a really good system where we'd work on the good days and, and when the blizzard conditions deteriorated or the winds were up or something like that, we'd, we'd take the day off and try and rest where you could. But again, living in a tent in 60 knot winds in the middle of an Antarctic blizzard is often fairly noisy while you lie awake trying to hope you don't blow away. The Bunga Hills um, are great because there's lots of hills that you can, you can climb up and um, they're not too high but you get really great aspects over the, the ice and the the rocks and so um, yeah I'd often take the time to go and sit up on a hill and do some sketching or painting um, of the ice or the camp or um, sometimes my teammates as well doing, doing various tasks. It's exciting that the Australian Antarctic Division is expanding their deep field program and getting scientists out to these remote places to study the glaciers and the rocks and the wildlife so um, yeah it feels really great to be a part of that and to, to support that being starting and, and getting off the ground. The days went relatively quickly and the summer flew past and we, we achieved a lot and I think when we look back on it you go geez what a look at what we got done and yeah, quite proud of it.